Hello, conference report. Well, I'm a big fan of uh, Wolfram. And uh, this is the, uh, the show I am a big fan. This is, let's see, can you read that? This is the uh, copyright 2002. When the book came out, I bought it. I was a big fan of Wolfram way back from uh, from the 80s of cellular automata and also fractals and the fact that in both of these cases what happens is that indeterministic patterns that look random according to the statistical definitions of random patterns uh, they come from a combination of simple deterministic rules and recursion and on page 27 we have Rule 30. So it is uh, eight rules, and what it is is you have a row of cells. It can be white or black is their state. And uh, you have one row, and then the second row you put below it to make this whole shape, and so on, the third and fourth. You take that row and you process it by the rules, each cell. So you look at a cell. If it has one black parent above it with two whites around it, it'll be black. So there's eight rules like that for all the eight combinations of three Boolean state cells. Um, and to me what this says is that you, since you get this random pattern, is it says that even with deterministic rules, since the world operates on a recursive system where it takes a state, processes it, that output state is processed, you're going to have indeterminacy in the sense that you can never determine you can't predict because you don't know where in the series is. But in your sense, you want to say, but it is determined. You know, row 50 is a determined thing based on row 1. But there's a fundamental sense of there is no row 1 involved, right? And I think people misunderstand Wolfram to think that this, uh, this means the kind of determinism they're talking about, of, of free will, for example. Because this is what I've been saying. You can reclaim a determinism. Someone referred me to a video with Wolfram speaking about this and it is very fascinating. But in some level you still have the issue of if the universe is like this, if it's basically indeterministic because it's got deterministic laws and so it looks indeterministic to us, so it's indeterministic to us because it's fundamentally unpredictable to know where you are in a particular series, then the question of will becomes, wait a second, will imposes determinism. We reduce entropy, we make water flow uphill, we break the, the rules of the, the randomness, we create regularity. And this is the position we want to be in, those of us that believe in the will, because we believe the will does something assertive, which is brings a regularity back to the world, even though, even in the face of the recursion. We master the cyclic process to somehow impose regularity. Because if we're in the middle of rule 30, the middle column with a random number of digits, well then why is it that we could create the same digits time and time again? If I throw this and it can be caught or dropped, how come I can catch it every time? That's, that's not the random, oh, I dropped it once. So it's still fundamentally non-deterministic, and yet I can push it in one direction or another to an arbitrary degree. And in fact, if I'm thinking more about it, I could catch that many, many times in a row. For any finite series, I could probably possibly do that some percentage of the time. That would be the determinism that we seek. So, I think what you aren't really thinking is the quantum mechanics plus this kind of cellular way of, of working is going to be such that you are at a particular row, and you notice his rules, they have to have a finite bound of the row and they stop at the bottom when it runs out of parents to the east and west, right? And in nature somehow with quantum computing basically you get an infinite row and everything is somehow recursed already, right? And uh, since you have this infinite row it could be preceded by an infinite number of previous rows and for all we know, maybe every row based on every possible set of rules. And this multiplicity again is going to be where if all of those possibilities are happening, we're tracing one line through it. 
yeah, you regain your determinism because you have this big multidimensional space where everything that can happen has happened. But you still weave a thread through it. What's that?